And we're back as we continue week 48 of Droughtlander. It has been a super time. I want to thank you guys for helping me get through it because if I didn't have a reason to talk about it on a regular basis, I would just get mad that it wasn't still here. So thank you for your support in that. And I appreciate that you appreciate my support in helping you get through Droughtlander as well. So we're all pretty awesome. Again, great community. I'm going to start us off with a uh, fun behind the scenes images. I don't have tons of stuff like I would normally have beforehand. There's no birthdays, no weird announcements, and um, I'm just going to get to the good stuff. And what is the good stuff? Why, it's a really nice snack. This is shared by brilliantly, Balf. Teamwork makes the dream work. Love the dynamic between these three amazing ladies. And oh gosh, yes. All right. The, the fact that uh, Katrina has been able to I don't know, show what it would be like to be a mother to two girls, one of, you know, her own making and one that's basically, you know, became her daughter through the relationship with the son who became her son because of her relationship with her husband and, you know, not a lot of options, but to accept young Fergus and well, actually after a little bit, the little charmer who wouldn't accept him. But these ladies, uh, they have got this great rapport on screen. And I completely believe when I watch them that, that, you know, Claire is desperately worried at Bri Brianna and, and her future and what she's going to be going through here in this time. And she's de desperately concerned for uh, Marsley and, and Fergus, of course, uh, but how she's going through pregnancies and, and dealing with uh, Henri Christian when he was born. It's I love all of the dynamic. I love the dynamics between all of these women. It's always been fantastic on screen. It's going to be really hard um, to say goodbye to them, but we don't have to do that for a while because stars is a jerk and they're making us wait. So we're going to move on <laughs> to another lovely video shared by Outlander online. Um, I did see this on, I can't remember. I probably X, but I'm just going to take you straight to their website uh, and catch this top here. It just says new video of Caitlin O'Ryan. Uh, and then here's a new video of Caitlin O'Ryan. So I believe this is going to be a video of, um, Caitlin O'Ryan. <laughs> It was quick, it was sweet, and it had music that I have to cut out and you got to hear something completely different instead. Yay us. <laughs> Let's move on. We've got another one. I told you that I was not out of 4th of July well wishes from our cast and I did have one more. This one from the lovely Sophie Skeleton. Uh, just happy 4th to US. Uh, fellow GBS, don't forget to vote today. Oh, okay, yeah, this was the 4th because big voting in, yeah, and um, I'm not going to get political about a country that I don't belong to, but uh, interesting things coming. So thank you very much, Sophie. And uh, thanks to all the cast who took a little moment and gave us a happy fourth. Very cool. Yet another cool gal heel. Brilliantly, Balf shares throwing it throwing it all the way back to 2014 with this stunning queen. And yeah, that looks... I like this. This is nice. I'm not a velour person. I think it's because I'm not you know, athletically thin or I don't have a slender build. And even if I do, I have other things that get in the way. <laughs> I don't like the, the, um, the velvety stuff. It just, it never quite sits right on me. Also, I have broad shoulders. I'm built like a full back for American football. My grandpa told me this when I was 11, <laughs> but she looks fantastic. Uh, again, 2014, the woman does not age. Um, looks great. More power to her. <laughs> Leading us into this collection of images, this is Balf Nation and Outlander Online sharing it. Sorry, I fooled uh, fooled up the uh, Balf Nation. Ugh. New screenshots of Katrina from her new video for FMN Gin released today. Oh, if I'm doing Sam's Whiskey this month, then maybe, well, probably not in August, but I might have to do a Katrina backed gin. I don't know, September? We'll see. Uh, <laughs> FMN Gin will be re-released soon with 25% of proceeds going to support the arts. Oh, well, yeah. Find more info at FMN Gin. Forget me not, Gin. Oh, Scottish Gin, save the arts. Katrina Balf, Katrina Balf, had lots of hashtags. Good stuff here. Is this, is this Katrina? I kept hearing that Katrina had her own gin and I, I was lazy. I hadn't done research for it because I'm catching up on everybody else's uh, whiskey. And then Sam's Gin and, whew, okay, I'm going to be a, just wasted at some point but until then i'll just keep uh, tasting it let's see what other pictures we've got 
uh, her smiling and uh, this is for her they said the new video for it so um, not acting like anybody but herself which is great because I love to see our actress smiling and having a, a nice a nice time I actually really like those small earrings the um not the dang well I like the dangle ones too but I like the little ones right above I'm always commenting on her clothes but it's because she always looks great also I like that sweater <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about her clothes these are some nice shots though I am digging the whole you know forest background it, it I love, I want to go see Scotland, just kind of want to see that much green. I see a lot of green in Indiana, but it's usually cornfields. Looking up, uh, hopeful to the future of arts, or the arts, I should say. This looks like the picture we started with. Let's go again, or at least one that we saw. Yeah, we're kind of repeating ourselves here, but a nice set of images. Uh, I do enjoy the, the idea that when you make a purchase of uh, one of these things that that, that our actors or, or any of the creators of the shows uh, are backing, that something goes towards assisting in something else good. And I love the arts. Yes, please. <laughs> and if I'm going to talk about gin and whiskey, I might as well, you know, let you know that, of course, I'm heading on to another Graham <laughs> video. This one, you remember how he was on the road with one, two, three, and then four places uh, while he was sipping his uh, bourbon and letting us know what it tasted like, if it was a good spot for that? Well, We've got another one, and of course, his wife is with him. Hello. Rochester number, I don't know what, which number it is. Here it is. We're in the Southern Hemisphere, so I'm experimenting with whether the whiskey tastes different in the Southern Hemisphere compared with the North. And my uh, trusty assistant, my beautiful wife here, uh, is helping suffering me. Suffering through it. Suffering, but helping at the same time. Um, we can't see you. Hello, hello. Hello. Cheers. Cheers. Um, I'm going to test. Hold on. Do you know what? I dare to say it's almost better, but it's still fantastic. <laughs> Cheers from New Zealand. Cheers. All right, so that one, of course, was from Graham McTavish. A whiskey road test number five. A wild beach in New Zealand provided the perfect backdrop to this essential test. It's absolutely essential. I completely believe that. Salty air, wind, crouching while sipping. How would these factors affect the flavor? Well, he said it was even better. So apparently, I need to be in a whole different place and in a whole different position to enjoy it properly. I still say that I enjoy it better with the ice. I did take a sip without any, uh, like two or three days afterwards, and then the bottle hasn't been touched since. And I do like it chilled. So I'll, I'll, I'll say that much more too. And again, I, I say it was smooth. <laughs> now the next bit I have is actually a post that's just lamenting on, on, on the depression that we will all go through uh, when we see a certain post by Meryl Davis. And so, yeah, check this. Shared by Elizabeth Smith, I think about this way too often. In the not so distant future, we will get a post for the last time ever saying that's a wrap on for season eight, and I'm just not ready to see that. You need to see this, and then you need to see this. Yeah, Meryl Davis, she has let us know when there was a wrap uh, pretty much, yeah, every single time. There's nothing better than those first few. That's a wrap on season one, and, and you knew it was coming. Uh, thank you to our amazing cast and crew. Without there would be no show. Hashtagging the clan. And the next one, that is a wrap on the amazing Hewn with our original Outlander. You are a joy to work with, Beeve. Looking forward to season two. At Hewn, really, a, it's a totally different one these days. Or maybe that was, you know what, I'm off to check something. And that's a wrap on the lovely and talented Miss Katrina Balfe. Uh, what an inspiration you are. Love you. Vacation awaits. Outlander stars. Yeah, uh, eventually we're going to see that's a wrap on season eight. And even though we won't have seen it, it's, it's, it's done for them. Uh, well, then there's all the promotional stuff and talking about it uh, in a year or two. I, I'm, don't, don't hurt me. A year, maybe a year and a half or two. But this, this is going to happen, and it's sort of like, all right, we're going to prepare ourselves for the pain. Yeah, but really, it's, it's, it's going to suck. <laughs> However, we are being left with something interesting. <laughs> See, I'm trying to keep it cheerful. It just takes me a minute to get there. This is shared by the official Outlander, Blood of My Blood, Jamie Roy, Brian Frazier. So I, I'm trying to think of something to say that we aren't already thinking. Yay. <laughs> 
Now this, I mean, it, we're we're losing Sam, and um, we'll be able to watch him in reruns, uh, as someone suggested in the comments earlier on yesterday's video. Um, but it isn't as though we are going to be short on attractive men having an interesting adventure. And apparently he likes to climb and be on top of mountains. He's just missing a kilt. And he sort of looks like your average guy. But, uh, you know, the, the very good looking version of the average guy. So I'm, I'm interested to see just what he pulls off with this character because we we have background on brian this is not a new character just like i'm excited to see what what uh, what happens with ned um again we've heard about him we know part of his story and, and we know some pretty interesting parts of his story so which of those will we see and how well will he pull off what we're expecting you know, will he be the Brian that you've had in your mind? Will he be the Brian that you pictured when uh, Jamie describes his da? It'll all be, well, new, interesting, and hopefully surprising in a good way. Now, as we are reaching the end, I do, of course, have some Sam images. And a worried and very concerned fan who noticed something on these images. So we're going to have some fun with this one. As Sam shares some very recent images of him out about in the world. Yes, this is the happy 4th of July. I knew I had it somewhere, but I had it connected to, <laughs> to what's coming up afterwards. But here, Sam Yoon shares happy 4th of July to our American friends, U.S. And he got the little Statue of Liberty one. I like that one. That's cute. Uh, so that was very nice of him to take the time and post. Not really surprised not to see one from Kat. She doesn't really post tons on Insta. It's mostly people, fans, who caught her and share. So um, maybe she was not picture ready on the 4th. Sam, however, is um, always, uh, it's just in a t-shirt and still kind of going, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's nice. Also very nice. I do kind of dig the hat. That is, that's not a cowboy hat. Somebody tell me what that hat is because um that just looks like a sun hat but it's it's uh oh is it felt or leather it's interesting and i i dig it maybe not the hat i would have picked for sam but he's pulling it off and uh he's looking out for the view and yay we can see the back of his shirt where it says jackson hole that's very nice um i would also like to see the view because usually he has some great pictures of some great views but uh well we'll going to get to see his back however this is the image <laughs> that someone else caught on to and wanted to have a, a well a little concerned chat now as you can see we've got a red arrow pointing down at sam's hand here uh and so i'm going to go with the the second image here the original i'm sorry the second post here the original been think of this for too long he has an insect bite on his right arm just above the elbow okay and then the one that he's replying to his post here and then i realized that it was probably this little bugger who bit him and i believe that is the little bugger that we are seeing on his hand this is shared by oscar dismore 2 and i'm going to show you what they're talking about back on this one if you look right here he has bug bite yeah they think they figured out the culprit this little sucker yeah <sighs> Being out in the wild, it's dangerous, even on a boat. Well, I would think there'd be more problems on a boat because you could always still fall in the water, but you know. You know what I mean. And that is almost everything I have, but I'm saving a couple of things that I just got right before I started recording, you know, for the next video. So we'd have at least one more this week. I do try to give you guys two, if not three, if I can. And sometimes I sort of have to because there's just so much stuff. This is one of those weeks, I'm hoping. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you'll know when the next video does come out and you can be a part of it. Mark your calendars for July 24th if you have not already, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to have a little chat here while I talk about 12 Monkeys and have a drink of Sam's award-winning whiskey. And if you don't know what 12 Monkeys is, that's fine. It's a sci-fi show. There's time travel. There's a theme, okay? It's either an old-fashioned thing or a time travel thing I've been talking about. And if you guys enjoy these, I may end up trying a new thing every now and then and I'll just talk about other shows too because that's what this channel is about. When I first started, I wanted to talk about all the shows that I enjoy and then I realized it takes a really long time to put these videos together. So.
I picked two universes that I like talking about. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you again to my Patreons and my members. I do appreciate that extra support. You know, I, it really came in handy these last week or so. So I do want to make sure you understand that I, I really do, really do appreciate it. Um, please do join me on those talks. You know, the ones I'm talking about, check the community posts and you will find out. And uh, if you did not get enough Outlander content, well, you know what? There's more here. So all you have to do is go look at the videos, pick one out. Out. And when you start watching it, do you know what? I will see you there. Love this dynamic between the three. <laughs> so, very, very thank you very much for. <laughs> so, yeah, you're very, very, very thank you, very, very thank you. All right, I'm not going to do that. Yet another cool cow. <laughs> cool cow. Oh, I'm doing well today. I'm, I'm doing well. Maybe not the choice I would have put. Maybe not the choice. Ah, famous award whisking, award whisking. Oh, all right, that, that's too many mistakes. I'm done. Mm -hmm.